In this module, I want to have a quick look at how to create an index reference in a Word document. And to do that, you need to be on the References tab. And you need to be in this section here where it says Index. Now, what you have to do is you need to mark the index entries that you want to appear at the bottom of your document or the back of your book, whichever. So when you click on Mark Entry, this little box pops up. And for some reason, it's shot to the bottom of the screen. But I'll come back to the top. Now, I'm just going to pick random words and phrases for this to work to show you. So if I just double click on percent, all I, need, all I need to do is click on mark. And now that looks like it's grayed out, so you can't click on it. But it's because this box is floating. And as you can see, I've just clicked on the box and now it's not grayed out. So it's put percent in there and I will mark it. Now, as soon as you click on mark, the show hide comes on so you can see the codes. So you don't want to be highlighting any codes that might already be there. And you can see in this document, there's quite a few that are already there. So I'll try not to highlight any of those. So if I just double click on a few random words and come down, click on mark and um, specialist, you can mark all if you want. And then you can highlight a phrase. So I'll highlight a phrase, this um, Fortune 500 companies, mark. And then as I come down the document, come down a few pages, I'll mark office, but this is what I'm going to do on the office one. Underneath there, I'm going to put a sub entry, which is going to say not 2007. So I need to mark that again. So not 2007 will appear in the index. Candidates, I'll go mark and then um, customer mark. So I'm just picking random words and what you would have to sp spend a quite a bit of time working out what you what you think people would look up in the back of a manual um to look for the page numbers now this is becoming really irritating this is um one of the things that what annoys me with words sometimes mark when things get in in the way some of the format and options uh, come up as well on the left hand margin format mark credentials mark and then I'm, not, I'm now at the bottom of the document, so I can close this. I've marked quite a few entries there, and there was already a few entries marked. So I'll just give it a title. I'm probably going to drop this onto a second page. And now what you do is you insert the index. Um, when you do that, you've got some options from templates. And I quite often, if you click on this, some people like that. You've got fancy, modern, and that's terrible. And then the one I always go for is formal. Don't know why I like that. I've always gone for that one. But anyhow, that's what I'm going for. But it's up to you. Click OK. It has dropped onto another page. So I'm just going to click next to that and do Control Enter to put a, a page break in there for you. So it's now at the top of the next page. And if I just go and take Show Hide Off so it gets rid of that. So there's your index. And the good news is these page references... You can see there, first off, before I talk about the page references, not in 2007, that was the sub-entry that I added. But these page references will be automatically updated in the same way a table of contents is. If I, for example, go to the top of this document a bit and just add a few page breaks there, so all the page numbers will be out of sync. So I'm doing Control-Enter, 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 Control-Enter. So I've added three or four pages there. Um, and then I'm going to get myself to the end of the document. I did control end there to get back down. So this table is now not correct. So if I highlight this table, I can update this table with the F9 function key or on the references tab. Um, you've now got this. You didn't have that before. And I will update the table. So we had... The program should move. Let's see if it does. Update the table. Yes, it did. It's moved to page five, which is great. So I added four pages. And that's all you have to do. So in theory, if you had a table of contents at the top and an index at the bottom, I personally would highlight the whole document, control A, and then use the key command F9, which updates all fields. Because you can see on all these different things, you've got update this table, update that table, and then update the table of contents table. So you, in th you, you could click three buttons. Um, whereas if you just do F9, it updates all fields. All fields F9 gets updated. And yeah, that's the index reference. And thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next bit.